Hey guys, it's Robert with Rome Functional Fitness and Food. Today we're making jerk chicken with riced cauliflower and riced broccoli. Before we cook the chicken though, we're gonna need to make a little bit of a marinade so that chicken tastes oh so good. We're gonna start with a little bit of thyme, a little bit of ground allspice, so basically about a teaspoon of thyme, a teaspoon of allspice, two tablespoons of brown sugar, about half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, they're gonna have two teaspoons of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a little bit of cayenne for some kick, two tablespoons of olive oil, and two tablespoons of lime juice. We're gonna mix all that together, and then we're gonna add a pound of chicken. So let's start putting everything in there goes your thyme, allspice, your maple syrup. Oh, getting it all out. Oh yeah. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. Just gonna wipe my hands off real quick. Some garlic powder going in. Oh, I can already smell this. This is gonna be good. And some cinnamon. Now remember, this is a jerk chicken recipe. Why we, this is why we have the allspice and the cinnamon in it. Add a little bit of cayenne pepper. Yes, try to use a little accent there, oh well. Here goes our olive oil. A Little bit of lime juice. So that's all in. We're gonna stir it all up a little. It smells so good. And here goes the chicken. Just put it in a little bit at a time. Just gonna fold it over. And after it's folded over, we're gonna let this marinate for 15 to 20 minutes. There we go. Everything's coated well. So now we're gonna set this to the side. Now that the chicken's done marinating, we can start on the rice, broccoli, and cauliflower. So first we're gonna take two tablespoons of coconut oil, put it into a saucepan. I'm gonna set this to the side. Oh yeah. And to this, we're going to add our onions. Now be careful, they're going to splatter. That's a lot of onions. So we're gonna saute these onions for about three minutes until they soften up. And we're using a saucepan because we're gonna be eventually pouring in some coconut milk. Now I spilt a little bit of onions, but guess what? You can just toss them back inside. Oh, another one back there. You don't have to use all of the onions. They're starting to soften up. 
I think they're almost done. So because I used a really large onion, I'm going to take about half of it out to use it for other recipes. Okay, now that those onions are sautéed, So now we're going to add in the riced cauliflower and broccoli. Just pour it in a little bit at a time. There we go. We're going to give that a good stir. So now, we're going to add in the coconut milk. Just pour it in slowly. There we go. So we're going to stir this and let it cook for about 10 minutes. It's going to absorb the coconut milk. There we go. So we're going to keep the heat on medium low. This smells so good. So now, while that's cooking, we're going to start our chicken. So for the chicken, we're also going to add in two tablespoons of coconut oil. We're going to let that melt. Now we're going to start cooking the marinated chicken. Oh yeah, this smells so good. Just gonna take this. Start to slowly put it in, just a little bit at a time. Here we go. Get all the goodness out. I wish you guys could really smell this. The spices, oh, it's just so good. Just, gonna, just let this cook for about 10 minutes also. So we've let the marinated chicken and the rice, cauliflower, and broccoli with the onions cook for about eight to 10 minutes. These are pretty fan damn tastic together. Can't wait for you guys to try it. The good thing about this here, it's only about 15 minutes prep time and about 15 minutes cook time. You're gonna 
It's going to be about 397 calories. You're going to have about 24 grams of fat, 15 grams of carbs, and about 33 grams of protein. This is going to be pretty fantastic for a serving. 